Hi, I'm Sarah Cowgill, along with Andrew Moran, Dave Patterson, Graham Noble, and John Clark. And this is The Conservative Five, an online TV news production of Liberty Nation News. We're back to have a little fun with the panel before Election Day. To sum it up, with jocularity, we are doing some 2024 campaign trivia. Andrew Moran, our economic comic, is running the board. He's worked tirelessly, jammed up on caffeine, to bring the questions for panel and the viewers to attempt to answer. Andrew, it's all yours. Thank you. Yes, I recently bought a Keurig coffee machine, and I love that thing. It's so wonderful. Well, anyway, so the moment you've all been waiting for, the final C5 trivia before election. It has been a fun ride for the past year and change. Dave Patterson has been winning most of the trivia content. Graham Noble has refrained from punching all of us through our computer monitors. John Clark has dazzled us with Clarinomics. And Sarah Cavill is just, well, she's just plain dazzled us. So as Joe Biden says, all good thing must come to, uh, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> let's get started with some trivia and audience. Let's see if you've paid attention to politics. If you haven't, don't worry, neither has a sitting president. So, question number one. On the latest episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, former President Donald Trump wished he was in this profession. Was it professional wrestling, whale psychology, or McDonald's chef? Wrestling. I agree with Sarah. Yeah, he said I'd like to be that. Whale psychology. Whale psychology, really. Whale psychology, whale psychology. Whale psychology. Wow. that's what he said. All right. Because he was talking about the uh, the windmills. Yes, yeah, yeah. Chilling the, right. the whales. Yes. So, uh, nobody got that. So, question number two. What hoax did Vice President Kamala Harris bring up in her one and only debate with Donald Trump? Was it the fine people hoax, war of the worlds, or the state hoax. diaries? Yeah, the fine people hoax. All right, that is, goes to Mr. Grant. Question number three. Aside from the minor Republican candidates, who was the first major Republican contender to end his bid for the party's nomination? Was it Mike Pence, Chris Christie, or Tim Scott? Pence. Chris Christie. Hey, yes, Sarah got it. He ended his bid on October 28, 2008. But of course, the other was the old Larry Elder. He ended his early Will Hurd, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, question four. Soon after, uh, come on. Sorry, as a. It was Kamala. I think it was Kamala. So soon after Kamala Harris declared her pursuit for the presidency, what title did she deny ever having despite raising the issue since 2021? Was it Kamalian, Joe Biden, or Border Czar? Border Czar. Border Czar. But the boys already answered that one. Yeah, but again, like Graham says, you read the question and then provide the answers and then someone chimes in. That's great for the audience because not everyone, you know, pays attention to politics like this fine crew does. I agree. Okay. Okay. Well, let's follow Andrew's rule. Everybody yells out. That's a good point. We want to let the audience play with us or they're going to quit watching. <laughs> Hold it. I followed the rule. You crushed me last time not following the rule. Okay. Follow the rule. After I didn't follow the rule. Follow the rules when I'm alone. When I can, I'll follow the rules now. That's the only one I'm going to have the answer for anyway. Yeah, the rest following the rules. No, no, just Andrew at reads it. all the answers, and then we just annihilate whoever's. Okay, trying. I'm going to play chess on my phone in the meantime. As well as I mean. So question five. This spring, Joe Biden recollected on the death of his uncle during the Second World War. What did he say? He was abducted by aliens, Trump shot him, or cannibals ate him? Cannibals. Three. Yes. <laughs> Uncle Bozy, you shouldn't brought that up, Dave. When we were talking no, about the no, last one, yeah, I was, I, I was going to actually to keep the cannibal metaphor going. You know, the there's Bozy. your article. There's your article. What, what do we, what do we pair Uncle Bozy with? I think in the in the That's first, kind of gross. Sorry, sorry, uh, audience. We should do a whole C five segment on cannibalism. I believe we'd have to put it in a with a political <laughs> and founding fathers bet, and I think we got the founding fathers covered. So. No, I think it goes good with the fine wines of New Jersey. You know, the Bayonne Beaujolais, which goes good with beef jerky. 
What are we, Europeans with a Chardonnay and the Beaujolais? That's from Seinfeld. Anyway, question number six. For some reason, the Harris campaign started using a word to describe Senator J.D. Vance and other Republicans. Was it cool, pseudo-hermaphroditism, or weird? Yeah. Weird. Weird. Sorry, I think that's, I think indeed. Question seven. President Biden recently referred to Trump supporters as garbage. Janitors in the press are doing a cleanup job by saying that this comment was a result of stutter or trying to sabotage Kamala Harris. Stutter. 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 Yes, Graham, stutter, yes. I saw it. And also, somebody can get a posture here. Someone sees it. We all know, we all know that he yep. ups down for a reason. Is garbage an upgrade over deplorables? And this is along, along with Kamala wasn't talking to Christians when she told it's them. Little, oh. It's a little more crass. I think uh, garbage is a little more class than the fancy deplorable oh. word. Go, Andrew. Question number eight. Since January 2021, how much has the national debt risen? Eight trillion dollars, five trillion dollars, or over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars? Eight, eight trillion dollars. Eight trillion dollars. That's correct. Grandma. Now, let's see if you five people can go back in the long history of spring 2024. President Biden lost what territory during the Democratic primaries to little known candidate Jason Palmer? Was it the Virgin Islands, American Samoa, or the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands? American eight. Samoa. American Samoa, that's right. Yes. Good yeah. job. No, eight. Eight. He also lost Guam. In Ghana, didn't didn't Guam tip over and and sink? Yeah, well, that he did did when they put the uh, uh, Marines on. You know, they, they that's our and it tip. Yeah. All right, question ten. I have not been following score, so I have no clue who's leading. But I'm going to say Sarah's leading because I think we should all let Sarah win this, just because Sarah is so far virtually. behind. And the audience knows that Sarah has uh, not been re- very responsive on this one. I think, no, I, I think you have two points, I, right? I think we should have, a, after all of these uh, trivia things, we should run like an audience poll on Liberty Nation and, uh, and the audience can go in and vote for who they think won. The, won the oh, that's a good idea. Or well, we could have a score on, on we, the We could have tens of thousands of hundreds of millions of people saying Sarah's a dummy. <laughs> so no, we could DEI you. You win for your gender and her merit is irrelevant. I think we should allow democracy to be in force and simply appoint someone. Oh, I know when I... What? Yeah. No. Right, just so, go, Andrew. Next question, Andrew. Uh, final question. Uh, besides Donald Trump, what other uh, presidents or presidential candidates have held uh, rallies at Madison Square Garden? Was it uh, Bill Clinton, uh, John F. Kennedy, uh, Richard Nixon, or all the... Clinton. Nixon, 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 John F. Kennedy of Bob. All of the above. That is correct, John Clark. Nice. There's been so many presidents who held rallies at MST. Uh, FDR, Richard Nixon, uh, and, you know, all of you about this. So many of them, yes. So if you looked at the audience, Trump may have been the only one to fill the stadium with at least 2,000 people in line outside. That's a lot of people. It is. And that that's tomorrow, and that is us for us today. Okay, whatever it is, it's it's not right on the teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. Okay, but I can't read. There's no words on it. There's no words there to play us out. What does that mean, to play us out? What, I, I don't know what that means, to play us out, to end the show. Okay. That's tomorrow, and that is... That's tomorrow, and that is for us today, and we'll leave you with... T- I- I'll apply it, and we'll do it live. Where are the net? Somebody get the net. We gotta take it out of here. Tomorrow, that is it for us today. I'm Andrew Moran. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sarah Calgill and a cutoff of her new album. Well, folks, um, straight jacket for Andrew. <laughs> Thanks for playing again. Don't forget to come back to LibertyNation.com for live coverage of Election Day and the morning after. Thanks, panel. That's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble. We're on them all as well. 
Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all of our TV productions. Now, Liberty Nation does not endorse candidates, campaigns, or legislation, and this presentation is no endorsement. I'm your host, Sarah Cowgill. Thanks for joining us today, and tune in for our live election coverage on the big day. Your coverage choice for free thinking, free speech, libertynation.com. <laughs>